But we're here, we're queer, and we're not going away. That flag outside that window and in this very room, the American flag, that's something that unifies us all, and that's why it's up there. The North Dakota flag as well unifies us all as North Dakotans. But the American flag represents the hearts of Americans, and the LGBT flag represents the genitals of certain Americans. Do you have kids or grandkids? I do have kids. Young ones, like say five years old, 10 years old? They've grown up a little more, 21 and 14. Okay. Well, just supposing they were say five, 10 years old, and they drove by and they seen that flag and asked what it was, wouldn't you be embarrassed to tell them? Decisions such as this are what have led to riots, looting, and destruction in our major cities. There's been considerations made for adding additional letters to the LGBTQ. The one thing that's been troubling is the letter P. Do you know what the letter P stands for? It stands for pedosexual. That means that pedophiles would be glorified. But I would like to thank all the aldermen and you, Mr. Mayor. You're obviously, based on your body language, you're in touch with what's going on here tonight. Everybody but Miss Evans. You gentlemen, and you ma'am, and you, you're all, you're sucking it up. You're listening, you're hearing it, you're getting it. She's not. Can I tell you, I, I want, no, Mr. Mayor, I have to respond. Alderwoman Hold Evans, it. we'll give him his five minutes and I'll give you a response it. after I'm gonna that. In, I'm gonna involve you pretty soon so you get your chance. Okay, thank you, Mr. Walker. You bet. Could you share with, with us your thoughts about that flag being Oh, you bet. So as some of you may not be aware. And, and, and just one point. Uh, yes, Mr. Walker. I've heard enough, I'll put my hand up. Okay. Just like the mayor does with Okay. Us. I'm not waving. But guess at you. what? You don't get to tell me when I can stop speaking. Well, I'm going to. I'm an elected official. You can't do can that. Can I do that, Mr. Mayor? Mr. Walker, if she's given the floor, I'm going to give her the five minutes just like everyone else. Okay, and five I will minutes. let you finish up your five minutes. And you'll start the clock. The clock is running as please, soon as please I don't go need ahead. five minutes. Please go ahead. So, Mr. Walker, if you're not aware, and I think a lot of people in this room are not aware and have come here just because this is a gay issue, I am proudly the first openly elected lesbian in North Dakota. So, that is why I'm not paying any heed to your crap. I am, we the people, I'm the people, I live in Minot, I have a taxpayer, I am a person. I get to see myself represented on that flagpole just as much as the people who got the Juneteenth flag last month, as much as the POW MIAs will get later this month. Every single person is entitled to see themselves represented. We are not some group of people who live in San Francisco or Seattle. We are here. We are your elected officials. We are your brothers. We are your sisters. And don't tell me you're not hatred and anger. That's all I feel. I've had to listen to it for days now, as is the mayor and many of my colleagues. It is unacceptable. This city is big enough for all of us. Me having a flag flying doesn't take away anything from your rights and freedoms. But you know what it does for me? It shows me I live in a city that appreciates and embraces me and the people of my community and that I can live here and feel safe. That's what it does. I'm sorry it doesn't make you feel comfortable, but we're here, we're queer, and we're not going away. Thank you. To the council. How can we sit back at the city and let these people run you like this? This is a shame. Is, I believe and I'm sorry. 
This is wrong. He, she butts in. You're pushing your won't. agenda. This pushing is wrong. Your agenda. It shouldn't matter who I love. For if you elect me as your city council member, it shouldn't matter. You're electing me because I'm competent and I will represent your viewpoints. Well, hey, excuse me. You are not at the podium. Why does she get to do that without?